Hello everyone, and today we're going to install an antivirus from around 2008 on Windows 11, today in 2024. So, let's get into it. Alright, so, we got to put the disk in the PC. This antivirus is called Panda Antivirus, or Panda, or whatever. Got it in spindle discs and I thought it'd be something fun to kind of mess with I am not sure if it's gonna work but hopefully it will so let's set to our files to this PC and there we go panda antivirus from 2 4 so February 4th let's click on it can hear the disc has ramped up quite a bit. I assume this is for XP, maybe Vista. I think this is for Windows uh, 7 was the thing. So let me choose the language. Let's press OK. Oop. Trying to install this product on operating system that is not supported. This product you can go and install on Windows 2000, XP, and Vista. Well, let's go into compatibility mode and start looking around. Compatibility. Run this for compatibility mode. I'm not sure what I should run this for. I guess I could do XP because Vista was the newest at the time. Let's go with Vista Service Pack 2. Close. Now let's run it. Let's see what it does this time. Let's make sure it's the language again. There you go. It has seemed to like Vista, I guess. That's the first time I've seen a program actually want to work on Vista than something else. I guess this is Windows 11, whatever. Ooh, big user agreement, that's fun. Yeah, let's install it. Now, the virus detection system could not be started. The scan will not be performed. Well, that's nice. If there's one thing I could tell people who watch this not to do, do not install stuff like this. Please don't. Just please don't. I will not allow my information to be sent to Panda. I'm not that kind of person. Oop, Panda Antivirus. Alright. Let's see what happens. So it seems to be loading. There's a little progress bar going on. That is a good sign. Alright, it seems to work. And our protection level is low. Yeah, because we installed it ancient antivirus this product worked correctly <laughs> I don't know if what I just select all that so I'll just all right so protection status says known and unknown threats protection is enabled last update was 0717 we got yeah low protection that's nice we can scan stuff can update uh, settings services. So, hmm, what if we scan my computer? Just see what it thinks. Huh. No viruses or threats. That's pretty nice. That was the fastest scan I've ever seen. Yeah, XP logo. Most likely for XP. So this is 3.0. That's interesting. Now, I'm gonna do something that's super sketchy and let's go online with it. Give me a second and I'll get it hooked up to the internet, my computer. All right, now we're online. So, 
let's get to using the internet. First thing I notice is my computer hasn't caught on fire, so that's a good start. Now one thing I'm not going to do is start downloading viruses, because why? Alright, so let's try to update it. So let's see what happens. Or maybe that doesn't do nothing. Intelligent update. Ooh, ones and zeros. Holy cannoli, it's actually updating. Um, I actually honestly didn't know that if Pana Antivirus exists, I've never thought to look up it. Give me a second. Alright, so I looked it up, and turns out they still exist. That's impressive. Our cybersecurity software company. That's neat. Let's see what it does when it fully updates. Do we think it's going to update to a new version of Panda Antivirus? If you think so, write in the comments down below. And it turns out there was a review for this antivirus back in its day when it came out. And it reviewed a 6 out of 10. Uh, so, that's great. 2,000 years later. Alright, so this is updating now. I love how it's called Intelligent Update, because it's not very intelligent to update stuff like this. Never said it was smart, just figured to have some fun. Alright, so now it's restarted. Let's fire it up again, see what happens. <gasps> My protection level is now high! Last updated... Ooh. It's now a new version 3.01. That's cool. So do they still supply updates for this? Or is it just happen to have an old update and still the server still exist? It's like my statistics. Zero viruses, no spyware, no threats. Huh. That's pretty cool. Now let's see if I scan stuff it does anything. No viruses. And everything's now updated correctly. Alright. Let's head online and do a few things. So we're going to test a couple things. We're going to watch, try to watch a YouTube video a little bit. And then we will try downloading something. So. It's on YouTube. This is a fresh install of Windows on here. I try to do that every time when I update everything. Or try new old software out. Alright, watching the video. And it seems to be pretty happy. Hasn't gotten suddenly a matter of any sort. Alright, let's uh... Let's download something. How about we download... Hmm... VLC. I don't think there's a media player on here besides for the stock one. So let's download VLC. Alright. Program's downloading. Antivirus still says everything's good to go. Alright, got VLC installed. So now, what if we try to scan hard disks? Still says it's happy. What if we try to... Uh, Let's go into folders here. What if we try to... Doesn't want to see anything besides... Here. What if we try to scan... How about Mozilla? And... No viruses. So yeah, I'm gonna plug the internet now. So to conclude today, well, I guess we're successful. No way, didn't get a virus. So it means it technically works, sorta. I would never recommend install something like this. And yeah, this is something different and I thought it'd be something fun to look at. Now, if you find yourself your own copy of an old antivirus, you can try your own viruses against it. But I'm not gonna try to start downloading viruses. Especially if it can potentially damage something or whatever. But yeah, 
Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And yeah. Thank you.